Wow, you were doing the Gangnam Style dance. Very nice. You also look very happy. What's the reason? That's great. You watched the Nervous System video two times and you got 10 out of 10. What is there in that second paper? Oh, you've got a test tomorrow on weathering and erosion. That's why you seem worried. Don't worry. Let's learn about it now. But first, go to the bathroom and wash your hands. Why? What do you mean, why? Because you were touching your pee pee part with your hands. Go clean your hands. Oh, you forgot to turn off the tap. The soap has been weathered and eroded by the water. I oh, don't look surprised. Yes, the soap has been weathered and eroded by water. So your lesson starts now. Take the soap with you. So let's learn about weathering and erosion. Remember two secret codes. The weathering code is breaking and the erosion code is to take away. Remember, weathering and erosion keep happening from moment to moment, like big rocks, which keep getting broken, and small parts of rocks, which are continually carried away by water or wind forces. Yeah, you're right. Weathering and erosion happened to this soap, and it was caused by water. Water first broke the soap and then carried away the broken part. Can you give some more examples? Oh, yes, you are causing weathering when you break the rock. Yes, the wind has taken away the broken parts, which is erosion. Weathering and erosion cause many changes all around us. Look at these pictures. Mountains, rivers, and many more things keep changing their size and shape due to weathering and erosion. I hope this far we have understood the difference between weathering and erosion. Now let's learn more about how it happens in nature. First, let's look at weathering. Weathering can be caused by many factors. For example, water breaks down rocks and soil in two different ways. One way is when it rains, water seeps through rocks from small cavities. In the night, when the temperature becomes lower, the water freezes. This frozen water needs more space, so it puts pressure on the surrounding rock, which then breaks down. Yep, you're right. It's like putting a nail in the rock, and then the rock breaks down when it tries to make space for the nail. There is another way in which water causes weathering. Water in the river breaks the soil on the sides by first making it soft and wet. Plants are also responsible for weathering. See, a plant is growing on a rock. Its roots are going deep in search of water. The roots are trying to make space to grow further, which results in cracks and breakdown in the rocks. Another cause of weathering is wind. Wind carries a lot of dust and sand particles. When these particles keep hitting the rocks year after year, gradually the rocks wear down. Yes, it's the same as sharpening the lead of a pencil with a piece of sandpaper. As the grains of sand in the sandpaper rub against the lead over and over, the lead begins to break down. So weathering can be caused by water, wind, or even plants. And you saw that temperature can also play a role since water freezes at low temperatures. This kind of weathering is called physical weathering. There is another kind of weathering called chemical weathering. There are many gases and many minerals in our environment. They keep reacting to each other, and many times it causes weathering. For example, when oxygen reacts with iron minerals within rocks, it forms rust. This can also result in the breaking of rocks. Sometimes chemicals in our atmosphere combine with water, which causes acid rain. These acid rains are also responsible for weathering. So now you understand two different kinds of weathering. But remember, in nature, this breaking down does not happen in days or months. It takes hundreds, thousands, or sometimes millions of years. <laughs> now, let's move to erosion. Erosion happens in many ways. It keeps happening together along with weathering, like the soil on the riverside, which is first broken by the pressure of the water, and then falls down into the river where water carries it to different places. Wind also plays a major role in carrying away broken particles. See here, a farmer is plowing his field. This plowing causes many broken soil particles, which are then carried away by the strong wind. So we learned today that weathering and erosion are two major factors which keep changing the world around us, and they keep working together at the same time. Also, we learned about different kinds of weathering and erosion. Are you ready for your test now? I have a question for you. Tell me the two secret codes of weathering and erosion. Very good. I hope that you get another 10 out of 10 on your test. Oh yes, you can keep dancing.